Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 23 and the season's closing in uh, ever so fast now. Uh, we go into week 23 for this Saturday and there will be an, a one well, for week 24 and um, possibly a week today. Hopefully I manage to go out before the Tuesday. Um, anyway, bit, bit of a few shocks the previous week just gone, but that week's gone now, on to this week, guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to try to predict, and you can already see it behind me, is Wolves vs Leicester. Um, you know, ever so iffy Wolves going up against an iffy Leicester. Um, you know, people start to feel. People start to say, does the Leicester manager feel the pressure um, of being sacked? Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, but you know, I think the press tried to twist it so quick. They lost the cup game, and then they lost their f f league game. But. I don't think he feels the pressure yet, not as much as some of these managers in this league. Um, but as the score prediction goes, I'm going to go for one on scoreline. The next one is Bournemouth versus West Ham. West Ham beating um, Arsenal this previous weekend. Maybe one of the shocks. Um, going up against Bournemouth, who lost to Everton. Um, controversial, possibly another VAR decision in there again um, for Gomez for Everton, perhaps put us in red and if you follow me on social media you will see me put it on the, uh, on the uh, links below on my Twitter and my Facebook um, so but anyway no VAR this season so you got away with it but uh, it would have been interested if VAR was in um, as well as the game goes for this one, I'm going to predict a 2-1 West Ham win. The next one is Liverpool versus Palace. Liverpool beat my local team Brighton. Um, you can see my vlog on my channel. It'd be in my channel somewhere. Um, it might even pop up the side. Um, you know, it's a very, very boring game. From a Liverpool perspective, um, you know, Liverpool, one goal, and that's a penalty. Um, game probably deserves to be a draw, um, but, you know, it's one of them games where I think a lot of them, you know, probably thought Brighton would be a bit easier when, we, when they weren't, so. Um, but... I'm not sure if I said it, but we're going up against Crystal Palace this weekend um, at Anfield, so I'm going to predict Liverpool to win this one, and I'm going to predict a 2-1 Liverpool win. The next one, and it is a game I'm attending, um, is Manchester United versus Brighton. Um, you know, Man United won six games in a row, and as I've just said, uh, Brighton lost to Liverpool. Um... You know, Man United, if they beat Brighton seven games in a row, um, winning streak, if Brighton go up there and either get a point, it ruins um, United's winning streak. Um, you know, it's the old United back, um, especially if you started watching them in the early 2000s, late 90s, uh, and a lot of you will know what I'm on about. Um, if you didn't, then you start to see them creep back into the old United slowly. Um, as well as the scoreline goes, I'm going to predict a draw. I'm going to predict that Man United are going to just push off the tempo a bit. And Brighton are going to be lucky enough to get a point out of this one. And I'm going to predict a one all scoreline for that one. The next one is Newcastle versus Cardiff. Ever so uh, low Newcastle going up against their okay Cardiff side. Um, 
You know, they're doing better than expectations, including myself, I predicted to finish. I think, I think they've only been finished there. Um, and obviously, you've got to see that at the end of the season, if you did see my, prim, uh, my Premier League table predictions. Um, you know, Newcastle, a bit really off this season. Um, no money to invest. Uh, do I think the Championship's probably the right way to go for them? Uh, I've got to say yes, because they ain't got they, Mike Ashley ain't got the money, or Sandy ain't got the money to keep Newcastle to keep getting these players in. Cardiff, on the other hand, are doing okay, um, as I just said, sort of. Um, but for the game, I'm gonna go for a boring game, and I'm gonna go for a nil-nil draw for that one. The next one is Southampton versus Everton. Uh, as I've said earlier in this video, Everton beat Bournemouth. Um, Southampton doing okay. Um, possibly um, might just stay up um, in that dog fight with the bottom. Uh, you know, it's one of them. It's one of them teams where I think Mark Hughes jinxed it at the start of the season. But as far as the scoreline goes for this one, I'm going to go for a 3-0 Everton win. One is Watford versus Burnley. Um, you know, high flying Watford, dark horses Watford, as I've called them this season. Um, going up against a very dodgy Burnley side. Um, you know, I'm not expecting a lot from Burnley. Um, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to put uh, Watford down to win. And I'm going to put a 2-0 Watford win. The next one is probably game of the weekend. Um, you know, game of the weekend. The biggest game possibly of this weekend as well is Arsenal versus Chelsea. Um, Arsenal losing to West Ham, I've said that earlier in this video. Chelsea um, are doing ever so well under their manager. Um, you know, it's one of them things where Unite Emery tried to do a job. It can work, but most of the time we go against them. So for this one, I'm going to predict a Chelsea win, and I'm going to predict a 2-1 Chelsea win. The next one, now I've heard rumours that David Wagner has been sacked, but I ain't actually seen anything that actually links me to that. So, at the minute, I'm guessing he's still in charge. But yet again, the alarm bells have got to be ringing for Huddersfield. Um, you know, Huddersfield, um, you know, down in the bottom, 11 points I think they got in 22 games. Not good enough. Uh, going up against a very good Manchester City side, um, you know, with, with Man City, um, two teams going for the title, uh, so I'm going to predict a Man City win, and I'm going to predict a 4-0 Manchester City win. The last one for this weekend, and my last prediction, is Fulham versus Spurs, um, you know, Ever so flying, uh, ever so low flying, I should say. Fulham going up against a very okay Tottenham side. Tottenham lost to United this weekend. Um, I think Fulham lost as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But yeah, again, I'm going to have to predict with the odds on favour. I'm going to predict a Tottenham win and I'm going to predict a 2-0 Tottenham win. Anyway guys, that's the end of my predictions. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.